Hey guys, Sandy here. In this video, we're going to answer a question that we get asked a lot, and that is, if someone comes early for a lesson or for a practice or for a match, and the court is available, what can they do to practice some of their shots? Now, I would say, first of all, if you come early, it's very important that you do an off-court warm-up, and I'm sure at some point we'll cover that in another video. But for this video, we're going to show you a bunch of exercises that you can do with one ball before you go on for a match, just to get your eye in or to practice particular shots. So let's have a look. This is a good little exercise to start with. You do a gradual approach towards the back glass. You start at hitting distance, and then each shot kind of move a step forward so that you're getting to the point where you're hitting half volleys and then volleys when you're close to that back glass. Then you gradually move backwards, hitting the same shots but moving away from that back glass. This replicates how you play in paddle, so it's actually quite a good exercise for you to practice on your own. Another exercise is to hit into the corner. This way you're using your forehand and backhand and you're getting used to the bounces in that corner. You want to try and hit relatively close to the corner because if you start hitting away from that, the ball could end up anywhere. So try and keep it nice and close, have good footwork, nice low compact position, practicing control with the racket head. For this exercise, you're hitting across the back of the glass so that it bounces and then comes off the glass. So you're practicing that shot that you would hit after the rebound. You actually have to hit quite hard and hit in a good position on that opposite glass so you have some good shots. If it bounces before, that's fine. Just get yourself back into the rhythm of hitting off that back glass. And for the forehand side, you'd have to switch sides on the court. This is a good way to warm up your shoulder for the smashing, is by hitting topspin smashes against that back glass with nice control. Another great thing to do while you're on court, before on your own, is to hit a few trick shots. Now I know there's going to be loads of people that love to practice this anyway, but it's a good way to practice your hands, to practice your court position, and that soft touch around the net. So here's a couple of options if you want to do those. There are loads of trick shots out there, so you've got a lot of choice you can find on Instagram or YouTube, but really you just want to practice something where you're close to the net, you can use your forehand and backhand side, and you're just practicing a bit of spin on the ball and control with the racket head. It's probably worth me saying, I don't think that you should necessarily be doing those trick shots during a match. <laughs> Especially when it's like 5 all, 30 all, and you go for a ridiculous drop shot out the door, that's probably not good paddle. But it is a great way to practice using your hands and touch shots around the net. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it useful, some of the exercises you can do before a game or before a lesson if the court's free. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like the video, and if you have any questions, comments, or want to see any other videos, please put it down below. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one.